Hey, old blabbermouth is back with episode 83 of Taste Panel for Chili Nerds. Alright, some of us beg, some of us borrow, some of us steal, and some of us just kick back and watch the panel. Yeah, what can I say? So we have another sauce today, and we're going to be looking at the Master... Blaster. Alright, yeah, the Master Blaster. Uh, this is a product by Coop's Kitchen. Alright, and uh, that would be owned by Mr. William J. Cooper, and he is out of Blasdell, New York. Alright, now, the uh, Coop's Kitchen Sauces, uh, don't have a lot of information on, it has some contact information on there, uh, but hey, no website, but they do have a website, uh, so I just would suggest you go to your Google or Yahoo and uh, type in Coop's Kitchen and that'll bring up the site, alright, as it is not listed on here, alright, so uh, we got some nutrition facts, which is kind of boring, I'm not going to go into that, but we do have ingredients, and we do have a picture of William Cooper on there. Hey, how about that? Yeah. So, uh, in the Master Blaster, okay, we do have jalapenos, chili, habanera, and Thai peppers, tomatoes, vinegar, sugar, onion, garlic, and spices. All right, and now, this does have a little plastic on there, but you can see right from the bottleneck there, we get a good view right off the bat. And we can see that there is some body to the Master Blaster. Uh, I see some seeds going on in there and some spices. Again, we have kind of a brownish, chocolatey-looking color. So, uh, hey, I'm going to... Uh, Take off the plastic here and uh, we can get a sniff of Master Blaster. Yeah, Coop's Kitchen. Shake that up good and see where we stand. Yeah. Alright, wow. Kind of. Kind of really has a. Uh, like a really earthy scent to it. Got a real deep, uh, almost, I don't want to say bland, but kind of really, uh, really kind of low key on the nose. I'm picking up almost kind of a, oddly enough, kind of almost like a, if you open a bag of, 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 uh, of whole shelled peanuts. You kind of get that really earthy, nutty smell coming out of there. And uh, somehow, I'm finding that here. But we are getting perhaps a little a little pepper tang underneath that as well. So I guess what I'm getting at is nothing really sharp or tangy or, uh, or anything we might expect from uh, a hot sauce having all those peppers in it. Uh, again, kind of really low-key on the nose, kind of getting a deep, earthy f uh, aromas, uh, kind of earthy spices, and uh, a nutty, almost a nutty smell coming off of that, and uh, maybe a little, 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 little tang of, of, of maybe jalapeno or something in there, but, uh, wow, nothing really, nothing really assaulting the senses. So, uh, hey, let's go with the taste, and, uh, hey, we know where that's where the ticket's at, so, uh, yeah, the Master Blast, Master Blast, all right, here we go, all right, it looks actually kind of on the creamy side, if I can get that up there, and, and not stain my shirt, uh, we can go, oh, I'm dripping again, so, hey, I'm gonna put a little more on there, and let's go ahead and do this, huh, mmm. Wow, um, 
kind of, oddly enough, in the flavor, uh, maintaining that kind of almost nutty flavor in there. I don't know what is responsible for that. Um, um, but yeah, we're uh, getting quite a quite a considerable tang though. That that really did come through. I smelled a little bit of that in the nose, and flavor-wise, kind of got a like kind of like a flattish. Yeah, it's weird. Almost like peanutty taste going on there. Uh, got it with a nice vinegar or jalapeno tang. Some of those pepper flavors came through there, and uh, yeah, it leaves you kind of with a really nice burning sensation going down into the chest, uh, does have some some nice heat, catching my lips full pattern, no doubt about that, um, sides of the mouth, uh, has my tongue, uh, tip of my tongue kind of flanging out on the sides, and then from the center of the tongue back, I'm getting a good whap of eat there. Um, yeah, very kind of picking up some little salty, salty, garlicky, spicy note there. Uh, yeah, just kind of kind of unique in the taste. Uh, not really. I uh, haven't had much. Uh, I'm not so familiar with the with that, uh, the spices are perhaps a pepper and spice combination that is uh, <clears throat> really hitting my tongue with that, that odd, uh, that odd nutty flavor there, yeah. So, but yeah, I'm getting, getting a, a good sting through my whole mouth. Uh, I'm gonna just quick wipe this up, guys, so I don't stick my elbows in it. Uh, yeah, really unique in flavor. Kind of, it it, it is kind of uh, kind of enjoyable, especially when balanced with some good heat coming through. I'm uh, assuming that coming through from those habanero peppers. Uh, 